Today is Tuesday, October 9th, and we are doing lesson 2.4. Okay, and today what you're gonna do is you're gonna use what you know about math facts, okay, basic facts, and also about unit form to help you solve multiple equation problems much easier. So today I'm gonna teach you a different strategy that can help you solve problems, multiplication problems quickly and easily, okay? But it does involve showing your work, which you always have to do because I don't have x-ray vision to see what your brain is thinking. Today I'm going to teach you a different way to think about doing this kind of math equation in a faster way. Okay? So we did 39, yes? Okay. Is that the same thing as 39 sevens? Can I put it into word form based on what we learned yesterday as 39 sevens? Yeah? Isn't that pretty close? to 47s, yes. right? Because if I have 39, let's say I have 39 books, isn't that pretty close to 40 books? Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So why might it be good to think about this as 47s compared to 39 sevens? Go ahead and talk at your table groups. We now know 47s is the same thing as 40 times seven, right? And isn't that a lot easier than thinking about 39 times seven? Because 40 times 7, we could just think, what's 4 times 7? 28. And how many factors of 10 are there? How many zeros are there? So I have to add one factor of 10. But would that give me, is 280 the answer to 39 sevens? No. How many more sevens did I add to go from 39 sevens to 40 sevens? How many more sevens did I add, everyone? One. one. So how many sevens would I have to take away to get to 39 sevens? So I can think of this as 280 minus 7, which we know in our heads is 273. Do you see how thinking about it like that is a lot easier? Do you guys agree that 8 times 31 is the same thing as 31 times 8? Yes. What property tells me that those two things are the same? I commuted those numbers, their positions, right? So what property, everyone? Commutative, Commutative property. property. Now, how can I say these expressions using words? Well. This one over here, which I should use blue, is 831s. Do you agree? And if I want to draw 831s, I could draw a piece, a piece of tape and show that here's 131, here's 231s, here's 331s, dot, 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 because I don't have enough room to draw them all, and here's my last 31. And my label here shows that all together I have 831s. Do you agree? Yes. Go ahead and draw that under where you wrote 8 times 31. This is an example of unit form. My unit is 31s and it tells me that I have eight of them. Okay, does that make sense? It's like if I said I have eight books, eight tens, eight goldfish, what, is, what do I have eight of? I have eight thirty ones. That's what it shows in my tape diagram. Now if I use the commutative property to think of it as 31 times eight instead, this time what's my unit? Eights, right? And how many eights do I have? 31 eights. So again, I can draw using a tape diagram. I have this time I have eights are my unit, do you see how inside each box I have an eight? But then how many of them do I have? How many of them do I have, everyone? 31. So if we think of it as 31 eights, here's 31 eights. If I take away one of those eights, how many eights do I have? 38. And 38 is a lot easier to think about because I can think in my head, 38 is the same thing as 30 times eight, which is three tens times eight ones, which is 24 tens, which is 240, right? That's the answer to 30 times 8, or 30 eighths. But I'm actually trying to find the answer to 31 eighths. So how many extra eighths do I have to add or subtract to get to 31 eighths? What do I have to do? I have to add one more eight. So 31 eighths is the same thing as 30 eighths plus one more eight, which is? 248. So we can see that we can use this mental process to help us. And we can show it using two tape diagrams. I want you to make sure you draw in your notebook this example. Over here you have 31 eighths. And down here you have 30 eighths, which is 1 eighth shorter than 31 eighths.